Hi everyone, it's me, Wei Chang here. I'm feeling much better today after medication and uh, lots of rest yesterday. So here I am back with a much clearer voice to solve a problem for you guys. Okay, so today we will do a P5 question. Alright, uh, it's an essay 2 question, so it's more like a revision. So here we go. Pei Ling Lilian and Mindy spent $1,880 during the holiday trip. Pei Ling spent $160 more than Lilian. The total amount spent by Pei Ling and Lilian is four times the amount spent by Mindy. So how much did Lilian, Lilian spend? Well, um, for such a question, I always ask students to look at Pei Ling and Lilian first. So we compare Pei Ling and Lilian first by drawing a comparison model, a simple one, Pei Ling and Lilian. We know that Pei Ling spent $160 more than Lilian. Okay. So we have $160 here. Now, the total amount spent by Pei Ling and Lilian is four times the amount spent by Mindy. That means this one, one, two, two units and $160 is actually four times the amount spent by Mindy. Now, if we were to leave the model like this, it would be a little bit difficult for the student to see. So what I usually do is I'll redraw the model such that it will look like this. Pei Ling and Lilian, and then after that I have Mindy. Okay, I combine Pei Ling and Lilian Okay, so I have two big units and 160 here. So this will be the two units. Okay, this will be Lillian, and this one here will be $160. And then um, we have supposed to have four times. Then my students most of the time will be stuck. They're going to understand how are we going to get four? Well, look at this. Let's look at this first. This one here is two units. How are we going to get four? Simple cut. Right, so I have one here. So I have four times as much. Yay! No. What about this? 160. You also need to portion this into four equal parts because you did it for here, you must do it for here. So we cut it out to four equal parts. Each part will therefore be 40. So Mindy would also need to have 40. Alright, so Altogether, they have $1,880. Now, from here, we know what to do already. Okay, the amount of money here, 40 and 160, will make up to be um, $200. Right? So, the remaining amount of 1, 2, 3, 4 units plus 1 unit here, 5 units would therefore be 1,880 subtract 200. You will get 1,680. One unit would therefore be uh, 1680 divided by 5, you get um, 336. So, uh, how much did Lillian spend? Oh, remember just now I said this was for Lillian and this was for Paling. So, Lillian has how many units? Two units. Therefore, be 336 multiplied 2, okay, and that would be 672. And that's the amount of money that they didn't spend. Uh, a possible confusion is that students could leave these 336 as the final answer because they see here <laughs> Lillian has one unit. Forgot that actually Lillian, we actually cut it further. Okay, so um, that's it. It's a very simple question. Um, and I hope that uh, all the other students are actually starting their revisions because um, all the exams are starting right after the PSLE marking, which is going to happen on Monday to Thursday. Uh, use those four days wisely. Uh, that is your sort of a last chance to revise. Use those four days really, really wisely. Do not while away the time and spend it really doing focused uh, revisions. Okay? And uh, yeah, this question, there's more than one way to do it. Of course, there's more than one way. Um, I'm just showing one of the ways that my students personally, they found to be pretty simple and uh, pretty effective. So with that, I shall leave you to... Uh, um, watch the other videos please like and share my videos with your friends and i'll look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow where i'll do another video tomorrow bye